some people innovated change the times for it some made propaganda programmed your mind for it okay okay i like that he's dressed as the medical professional talking about <laughs> i'm talking about some made the propaganda and brainwashing from the future subscribe to me if you want to live it's like the 40 year old boys i'm pretty sure that's what it's called but it's this guy he's his name is black pegasus and i came up on him when uh he posted uh a remix of the rich men north of richmond okay so he made his own version of that and then i i made a, a video on that reacting and i i really liked it it was really good so he apparently is buddy buddy with ren the the rapper artist musician and so he posted black pegasus money game ren retake so i was like you know what i want to check this out because i really liked money game Ren's pretty centrist, I feel like, and he's very uh, knowledgeable about the holes in the system with, like, Big Pharma and stuff like that. Uh, but a lot oh, yeah. of his followers are way, way more left than me. So they really just don't get on with me most of the time. Although I feel like I would probably be really good friends with Ren in person, but we just wouldn't be perfectly aligned ideologically, and that's fine. Uh, but yeah, a lot of Ren's followers just don't like me at all. And it's it's kind of entertaining, but I just haven't. Seriously? Yeah, no, they they like trash me in comments and stuff. But I liked Money Game 1, but I disagreed heavily with certain things because he was like criticizing immigration policy in favor of more illegal immigration. Oh, no. And I'm just like, yeah, fuck that. And I just went on a whole thing. And then Money Game 2, he was grouping like Trump into the like corrupt politician thing. And I was just like, dude, like the entire establishment system of the entire fucking world conspired to go against one guy. And you're trying to say he's part of that system. Give me yeah. a break. Okay. Yeah. They're, yeah. And then I don't, I, don't, I don't deal with that shit. Right. But the, the music is really good. So they always get pissed off at my responses to red stuff. And so I don't do that much, but black Pegasus is like super based pretty awesome he invited one of the other reactor guys from belgium to come to the u.s and shoot guns with him cool guy so i was like i want to see his version of money game and see what's up with that this will be the second thing i've reacted to and the only thing i got armando to come react to for black pegasus so i'm excited about it and i hope it's good there we go let's do it all right guys if you like this kind of stuff like this video share subscribe and then i'll leave a link where you guys can follow armando because you got to follow armando too Some people die for it. Some people go to work. Some inspire for it. Some people go to war. Some fight fires for it. Some people become lies, only desire for it. How many people get hired, even admired for it? Some people commit crimes, felonies, prize for it. Hard okay. So obviously, he's going hard on the every angle of the money game. You know? I mean, he's right. like, this is... So you got him dressed as a politician, as a professional, as a gangster, like just all the different hustles that it takes to get money. Right. So which politician is he playing here? Because the hair is kind of screwing with me. It's not orange. So <laughs> I think this is, is just it? generic. This is generic. Okay. Cause I mean, right. that could be John Kerry. That could be Mitt Romney. That could be Mike Rogers because it's fake. Like it, or it could be, <laughs> it could be the Argent, it could be the Argentinian president. Oh no, really no, that dude's like ending the fed, bro. He's not the money game guy. Get out of here. No way. Or the, uh, the Salva El Salvador president. I posted that video of him. Very true. He's like, yeah. Hey, everyone in here, investigate all of them for corruption. It's like that guy's base, bro. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. So I like, I like the beat drop. I like the flow so far and 
We're just talking about all the different ways you make money. People get hired, even admired for it. Some people commit crimes, felonies, prize for it. Heart full of greed, some conspire for it. Giving back to the poor, some provide for it. Some of my favorite rappers wrote a rhyme for it. Some people stop bad habits, snorting lines for it. Some people innovated, changed the times for it. Some made propaganda, programmed your mind for it. Running in place. Okay, okay. I like that he's dressed as the medical professional. Talking about, I'm <laughs> talking about some made the propaganda and brainwashing because yeah, if you guys do not know, I mean, if you like Ren, then you know how fucked up the medical institutions are. We can oh, yeah. get on the same page with that for sure. If you don't know, if you're like new to this in 2020, some crazy stuff happened and the people in charge were wrong about every single thing. So it's like, they're either oh, and, go ahead. And, and I got a little tidbit for you on that, on how, Everything went wrong. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was going to do a video on this. I never got around to it because, of course, time. But just know that there is a country in Europe, and I have the video clip for it, all right, that just came out and publicly confessed, okay, after they were behind the whole push for, okay, that. Right. And now they're saying, it was all a hoax. It was all bullshit. We got it wrong. Okay. And it, it was the world's biggest psyop. And, and we're letting you know that we we're sorry. Like what? Yes. <laughs> we're, like sorry. we're sorry. We apologize. We, we axed or whacked, you know, a bunch of humans. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you a little spoiler. This country has a track record of industrial murder. Oh, you can wow. fill in the blanks. Okay. Okay. That's crazy. But yeah, yeah, I, I, we, we both have people we know who are medical professionals and have told us about the different malpractices that went on during that time. So it's not, it's not conspiracy theory to be like, Hey, the science was bought and paid for and no. incorrect. So basically what this country did is they just excluded themselves outside of the picture of when it comes time for them to go in front of the Hague for crimes right. against humanity. Well, no, we admitted that it was a problem. We said sorry. Yeah, exactly. Propaganda programmed your mind for it. Running in place, spending your time for it. So complex. Are we designed for it? It's all debt. We on the grind for it. We're all part of this old money. Yo, I've been working 30 years of my life. I don't mind the work, but the taxes is trife. As an American, I'm proud, but I'm embarrassed when I find out I'm funding wars. These people perishing. Very men. Yo, both things. Both things. That was very good. Yep. Nailed it on that one. Taxation's theft. Okay. It really Absolutely. is. When you look at the taxation without representation, you see what they're spending our money on. They spend all of our money and some because they're just printing new debt in your name. And like, it's for shit that, as he said, we're funding wars that have nothing to do with us. And they're exactly. like, hey, we don't have money for the border wall, but we're going to spend... 60 billion, a hundred billion to defend somebody else's border on the other side of the world. Yeah. It's, exactly. it's insane. It's embarrassing yeah, and, that we allow it to happen. And that's the problem. We allow it to happen. We're allowing it to happen. All right. And they're getting away with it too. Okay. 68 billion just recently again to Ukraine. We're at 160 billion into Ukraine only. Haven't even touched on Israel yet. And that, you know, psyop over there is, as I like to put it. All right. Uh, yeah. And it ain't over. All right. And in the meantime, you know, where's all our focus? Here's a thought for you, Jeff. Where's all our focus? And this goes the money game, right? Again, right back to this, the money game, right? All of the college campus protests that are going on. That's where the entire focus of everybody is right now. Okay. Is right there. Who's funding that? George Soros. You've got groups that are funded by George Soros. There are Palestinian rights groups that I believe are involved, funded by George Soros, and they need to be off of our college campuses if they're committing violence, full stop. All right. Um, there's no proof that these are funded by George Soros, by the way, but uh, their folks have denied that. But uh, we'll, we'll see exactly where all of this money is we'll coming from. To disagree, right. I guess. Okay. Yeah. I, I just looked for the, the checks, and I haven't seen them yet. Uh, 
I, it's the deep state, right? The deep yeah. state's funding all of that. Why? If you look nationwide, on average, on average, 85 to 90% of all the tents that they have pitched out there, they're all identical. They're all the yeah. same. Green they're all brand ugly. new. Yeah. Okay. You're, you're, you're going to sit here and tell me that little Johnny and Mary that go to college, okay, students, all right, just came up with three, 400 bucks out of their pocket at current today's rates, okay, and bought a new tent. Why? Are they all going on a camping trip? No. No. This was done by design. This was funded by the deep state. We paid for it, the taxpayer, so they can go out there and run another PSYOP, okay, about pro-Palestinian or whatever it is. And you can view on that whatever you want. Again, the money game. It's back at that again, all right? And we're paying for it. Come on, man. Well, yeah. And Seriously. specifically, like you were saying, you got someone like George Soros, who's a Hungarian Jew, who is paying for people to protest against Israel and say all kinds of horrible, nasty things about Jewish people. And then the counter to that, is legislation that restricts free speech in the name of protecting against anti-Semitism, funded by the guy who who is making them say bad things about Jewish people. And he's like, great, so now me and the ADL and APAC can do whatever the hell we want, and anyone who says anything about it goes to jail instead of getting free speech. And like, I don't care about Israel. I don't care about Palestinians. I don't care about the Gaza Strip. I could give a fuck about anyone in the world. I'm way more libertarian than that. Like US, I have five kids. I care about our Southern border, crime in the streets, drugs everywhere, and not being able to afford groceries because our dollar is getting inflated to nothing because we're spending money on bullshit stuff like that. Exactly, yeah. Proud, but I'm embarrassed when I find out I'm funding wars. These people perishing. Bury men in the soil we see terror in. Do we want freedom? Money, oil, or heroin? I could go on for days about governments and corruption. Freedom, disruption, weapons of mass destruction. Cash rules everything around me, including science. It's astounding. The new world alliance. Political giants, pharmaceutical tyrants. Corporations using money manipulate guidance. But for every negative, the positive, humongous. Matter of fact, our world's never seen so much abundance. So I don't hate a lot of money it's just a tool to build to destroy that decision is up to you dude oh dude that that was heavy that was heavy like, that was heavy the decision is up to you up to you oh man yes. it's like um that thor he hands a mule near the hammer of thor its power has no equal as a weapon to destroy or as a tool to build. It is a fit companion for a king. It's up to you. It's a tool. Yes, that was awesome. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, I saw a statistic. It was saying that uh, like 100 years ago or 200 years ago, I think it was like, 30 or 40 percent of the world was in extreme poverty the population of the entire world and now it's about eight percent so they're saying as as shitty as things are it's there is more abundance now there is more of a better standard of living for the average person worldwide including the poor than there ever has been in the history of forever because there is abundance there is wealth there is, there are resources and like technology to spread it out. That's never been as good as it is right now. And you ever, you also have to consider the fact too, that, um, uh, human reproduction is at a standstill. That's bad. Yeah. That's actually really horrible. And that's around the entire, uh, around the entire globe. If you really think about yes, it. Yes, it is. Yeah. And it's not, and it's not, and it's not coming from a point of, Oh, we made a decision not to bring kids into this current world because who would want to grow up in this world? I've been hearing that conversation since the freaking 60s. It's always been the same shit, yeah. same narrative. No, it's because of what's going in the food, what's going in the water, what's going in the medications where you cannot, even if you wanted to, have kids reproduce, okay? And I believe, I believe that is being done by design to control population because what does the other side want to do? We need to bring the numbers down. There's a lot of uh, reasoning to destroy the population. But if you looked at the uh, the rat experiment, 
you know what I'm talking about? The perfect utopia. And yep. so the guy ran the same experiment 25 times, the scientist. And every time what they did is they created a utopia for rats where they had all the food and water and shelter that they needed and they just let them go. And what happened was over time, because it was so easy, they fell out of gender roles. So because they created a first world of abundance with no difficulty for the rats, there was no gender roles. And then what happened is the female mice started to resent the male mice and they started to get like more aggressive. They started to lose their nurturing, mothering instincts. So the males started to not want to deal with them. So they were like, yeah. And they, there was what was called the beautiful mice or the beautiful ones. And basically they were like mice that just sat around all day, um, grooming themselves. So they looked way better than all the rest of the mice. And so it makes you think of like these Instagram gym guys that have just like, they're just like, Oh, I don't care about ladies. I'm just going to like get into crypto and work out all day. And like, that's all I do and take pictures of myself shirtless in the mirror. And like, that's all my existence. And so between that, they were like rejecting them. There was, there started to become an excess of homosexuality between those mice, the males. And then eventually there was a complete rejection between the two. They stopped mating. The oldest generation was like, trying to keep it going but it just ultimately they aged out and failed and then all of the mice die 25 times he ran the experiment every time you create a utopia communism every time you create that communist utopia the world implodes on itself quickly because what are you doing you're controlling consumption no consumption no advancement right yeah the mice don't have four legs anymore. Now they have two. Yeah, it's true. But yeah, you, you, you should look into the experiment because I, I may sound like some like random asshole on the internet that doesn't know anything, but. The last thousand animals born uh, never learned to develop the social behaviors. They never learned to be aggressive, which is necessary in defense of home sites. Uh, they never learned to court. So there was no mating. Being no mating, there were no progeny, and the older animals, uh, whose behavior was already becoming disrupted, they eventually reached to an age too old to reproduce. And so it was all left up to these uh, last thousand or so, whom we call the beautiful ones, because uh, not engaging in any stressful activity, uh, and only paying attention to themselves, they groomed themselves well, so they looked uh, very fine specimens. But from that point on, which was about the time that you were here two and a half years ago, uh, this reproduction totally ceased, and the animals have just aged and died. That experiment <laughs> is very much a parallel to going in the more progressive way, trying to eliminate the struggle. And then the ignorant people that think that that is the way eventually growing up and not being able to like change a tire. Like I just imagine my uh, family out yeah. in California and all their friends. And I'm like, if they, fl if they're driving in a big group to a photo shoot and they go through one of those California desert areas and pop a tire, I think they might all die. Like, I don't know that they could actually make it. So you got to have the struggle. You got to have it. Nope. That's why you have this. That's why I said in the desert with no reception, because <laughs> they can't call for help. <laughs> so it's like, you got to figure it out and they would just die. Like they would be like, exactly. oh, well, I didn't know this is how I go. But uh, all these <laughs> degrees, I can't change a tire. Exactly. Hey, to love money, it's just a tool to build or destroy. That decision is up to you. We're all part of this whole money. I got my mind on my money and my money on my mind. We do this every day about the same time. I got my mind on my money and my money on my mind. We do this every day about the same time. I got my mind on my money and my money on my mind. We do this every day about the same time. I got my mind on my money and my money on my mind. We do this every day about the same time.
What'd you think of that? I liked it. I really did. I, I really, really did. Yeah, make sure you guys uh, go check out Black Pegasus. Give him a follow because uh, that, that was good. I really liked his breakdown. I yep. liked that it was like, I'm a very political person. I'm an extremely political person. And so that was very generically good information. And I don't feel like it leaned any direction specifically. It was just like, hey, this is what's going on with the money. Got the fucking... Uh, we got the greedy politicians. We got the military industrial complex. We got the corrupt medical establishment. We got gangsters who are not really good role models or, you know, they're committing felonies to get their money. Like there's a lot of different roles that he was dressed up as in the money game. I agree. I agree. But he broke it down perfectly. Again, like you said, you know, military, medical, gangster, if you will, uh, music industry, even that. Yeah. Right? Whatever genre you want to go ahead and put it in, he absolutely broke it down perfectly. I like this. I really like this. This was, it wasn't a uh, rinse, wash, repeat type of, you know what I'm saying, rap yes. song or, or video that I would ex I was expecting to see. No, this was very original, if you will. Yes. This was very, very original, very well thought out. So hats off to Black Pegasus for this. I think I, I give him 100% on that one. Well, the thing I like the most about it is that it wasn't a remix where he had one verse on the original song. Correct. Because there's a lot of these, like, now we're just going to remix it again and again and again, and it's going to be featuring one new rapper who has one verse, which they they may do great on. Uh, but I like Money Game, so I was expecting it to be Money Game, and then Black Pegasus comes in and, and did a verse or two verses, or maybe he helped sing it. I mean, I don't know. I didn't know exactly, but for him to take the background sounds of Money Game, which I really like, like I, <laughs> I, I've, I play Money Game in my gaming streams, dude. Like I like that song a lot, uh, but yeah, for him to just completely have that as the backdrop while he just did bars on bars on bars on bars and broke it down for us, that was that was very good information. Yeah, it was. Okay. All right. Well, Black Pegasus, thank you. Uh, if you guys like that video, please drop a like, subscribe, comment what you think, and uh, make sure you guys check out Armando over on Pew Pew Nation TV and Truth Table News World. Truth Table News World. There you go. Back in the saddle soon. <laughs>